Church this month marked a year since the passing of struggle icon Ahmed Kathrada. In his honor, the Constitution Hill opened a photographic exhibition. A year after his passing, a step has been taken to honor the pivotal contribution he made to the liberation of the people of South Africa, a contribution that will resonate with South Africa for years to come. Now, the exhibition includes archived material from the days of Robin Island to the times before his passing. And to tell us more about the exhibition, we joined in studio by the Executive Director of the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation, Nishan Belton. Nishan, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Ahmed Khatrada played a, a very pivotal role in the liberation of uh, the people of South Africa. So why did the Ahmed Khatrada Foundation uh, decide to partner with the Constitution Hill? We've been trying for the last few years to find a place to put up an exhibition or to serve as a, a mini-museum on the life of Ahmed Khatrada. I think since his passing, it has been easier to motivate for such a thing because whilst alive, he really didn't want that kind of stuff. Um, so we, we eventually struck an, an agreement with Constitutional Hill, wherein which they've provided a space that the foundation will install a permanent exhibition on the lifetimes and lessons of Ahmed Kathrada, and that should, will be done by March next year. In, in, the, in, 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 in this current period, we have a temporary photographic exhibition on the site where, where this permanent exhibition will, will, will in fact be, be opened by March this time next year. Okay. So is the photographic exhibition open to the public yet? Yes, yes, it's open. Uh, it's, it will be there for the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh -huh. um, okay, earlier on in the week, uh, the exhibition opened. Take us through the events that uh, were t uh, taking place. Well, uh, Mr. Kathrada's uh, death was on the 28th of March last year. So the 28th this year we do, did two things. One, there was a gathering of friends, family, old struggle uh, activists at his graveside in West Park um, to, to pay homage to him and to do some prayers on, at, at the grave itself. In the evening, we held a commemoration <coughs> service. Uh, the commemoration event was addressed by um, Eleanor and Max Sisulu on behalf of the Sisulu family okay. because Uncle Kathy was very close to, 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 to Walter. Indeed. He considered him to be his father. Um, it was also addressed by Frank Chikani on behalf of the stalwarts and veterans, okay. uh, Barbara Hogan, his wife, and Pravin Gordon because you will recall that uh, Pravin was fired almost this time last year. Right, right. And his, his, his dismissal became a rallying point in the fight against corruption. Kathrada's funeral became a platform to, to really vent that kind of anger as well. Um, but more importantly for us was a range of young people who reflected on the impact that Uncle Kathy had, had on their lives directly and their interactions with him. Um, and, and I think for the audience that was a whole new side to him. Lastly and perhaps most fitting, were, was a representative of the workers at the flat where Uncle Kathy stayed, uh, sharing their experiences of life with him and also what made him different from most other tenants within that particular complex. Mm. His love, his care, his concern for them, I, I think is what, what, what came through in that particular speech by one of the workers for, for, from that flat. So you, re you really had an evening of reflection of his diverse interests, and the diverse range of interactions that he ha had with South Africans across the board and across the color line. Yeah, and I guess the one thing that uh, people always talk about when we make a reference to Uncle Kathy is his humility. So how do you go about collecting material for the archives? We, we already have an extensive archive. Um, we, we have a huge archive on him. We, we are still, however, gathering stuff um, from different uh, libraries, from individuals as well. Um, and, and I think the, the, the last month has really been trying to collect selfies that he took with people in the last few years. Really? Because he was an avid selfie taker with just about everybody and anywhere. And, and that, that would be a new addition to, to our archival material. Really? I'm quite fascinated <laughs> by that. Uh, now, what, what is it that you want people who visit the exhibition to take away from? What is it that you, you'd like, you want them to learn out of attending this exhibition? Well, it's a temporary photographic exhibition. Um, but this one deals with his life after, after being released from prison. And, and I think what, what you take away from there 
is the range of his interest and activism from Palestinian solidarity to encouraging reading to encouraging uh, uh, interest in history. His love for Robben Island, the promotion of Robben Island comes out as a big part of his life um, from, 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 from 1989-1990 onwards. Um, his championing of the cause of, of students is, is another big feature of this exhibition. Mm. And you see photographs of Uncle Kathy at, at either Wits or at Union Buildings um, interacting with students just before they all get tear gassed and so forth. Yeah. Um, so, so you see this diverse range of, of, of activism or interest in activism, which given his age, you, most people would not be even contemplating it at, at that point in time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so much has happened after un Uncle Kathy's passing, uh, exactly a year on. Uh, so many, uh, politically, so much happened. Yeah. So what do you think he would be saying at this point regarding what's unfolding politically? He, he always maintained that leaders come and go in organizations. Um, but it's consistency of policy that for him was the big thing. Yeah. I think he would be very happy with the current uh, leadership of the ANC. Um, we, he would, however, still be worried that there is a lot of unfinished socioeconomic issues that, that still need to be addressed mm. because those were the issues that really pained him um, in, in the last few years of his life yeah. and particularly the plight of young people in this country. All right, Mr. Bolton, thank you so much for no, chatting to us. My pleasure. All right. That is a director of the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation talking to us uh, about the new photo exhibition on Ahmed Kathrada. Let's go for an air break now, shall we?